brain and I read it like fact We've been taking handshakes Flip it like Mac Lethal making pancakes I'm one of a kind Got a couple of rhymes Got in any other what is up guys this is yak so your principal for editor school and today we're going to be continuing with the over edit, over edit series which i teach you how to make an over edit since you guys love it so much and you guys give me a lot of feedback so the effect i'm going to be teaching you guys today is the one you saw at the beginning where the screen goes in and he shoots and it comes out which is a really over edit which is a really over use effect in over edits so um, it's pretty easy guys, just you gotta pay attention and the controls, you gotta add some like values and stuff, so yeah. Um, so I imported my clip already and first thing you're gonna wanna do is get rid of the background noise. So just press LL to take out the waveform and when it's, when it's like the shot comes, you wanna add your own intervention sound. And then you wanna time it up, like line it up. And then press LL on that again to open that and line it perfectly. So now once we do that, just take off the audio for the climb thing. So now there's no audio, like background noise, and you shoot. So basically all the effect is, is this intervention sound, which is reversed. So just click on your intervention sound, duplicate it, right click, go to time. Um, time reverse layer and there's that little red thing should come underneath it and I'm just gonna press push LL to see how it looks I'm gonna time that right so that's pretty good timing but now if you listen to it let me just drag these little things and oh and one more tip while I'm teaching you this to drag this if you want to just render a little bit of your edit just drag these little things and it should and click the pre-render button and it should only render that much so if you don't want to watch everything through again just click it so watch it again so as you can see it's pretty good but it's kind of short so what I want to do is I'm gonna click on the second intervention thing and duplicate it again and then now this time we're gonna right click um, go to time again and time stretch and you're gonna change negative 100 to negative 200 so that just doubles it so now if you play it it should sound like this She sounds more of, of one of those effects in the videos. And yeah, it's going to sound better when you have music in the back of it and stuff. So don't worry about how it sounds right now. So now for the actual warping effects. So now what you want to do is in your effects and precepts tab, switch up optic compensation. Right here, it's in the distort thing. And just drag it onto your clip. And now you want to click uh, check off reverse lens distortion and you want to go to the beginning of your intervention sound thing or a little, wherever you want to start the, the wave thing. Just check out, click on the stopwatch right beside field of view and you want to go to the part where he shoots so where the third intervention is there. If you want to check exactly just do that you see it's lined up and then click back here and drag this up to about 150 about 150 or more whatever depending on what you want I like 150 ish like 151 and then so you, that added a keyframe and then go a bit ahead where you want it to stop and then click on this and click zero so now if you click U on your clip it should show all your keyframes so what we did was we added a keyframe and then in during this time right here it goes to 151 and then back to zero so yeah so now if you play that back this is how it looks So yeah, that, that looks pretty good, but now I'm going to teach you how to enhance it and stuff. So in your effects and precepts tab, search up slider, slider control, because we're going to be adding wiggle. You drag it onto your clip again, and just click the down bar, and you want to make this small again. And then you want to you have, you have your slider control open, and you want to open your transform thing too, and make sure you can see your position and slider, slider right here. So now what you're going to want to do is... This is going to get confusing guys, so pay attention. So what you're going to want to do is right here where the stopwatch is beside position, alt click. See, you may not get it the first time, just alt click. When you, you'll know because it turns red and you right here where it says transform position, erase that and write wiggle. Exact same thing I do, wiggle, bracket, eight, comma, and you're going to want to grab this little pick whip thing right here. 
right there, that little squiggly line, and drag the slider, and then click on this again and put another end bracket. So, so what we did was we now we are we are able to like thing. What's it called? Keyframe uh, wiggle, which usually you can't do that. So now, now that we've done that, we can just put this down to help us see. And I want to start the wiggle right about there. Click the slider control, go ahead a bit to there, like where the, sh where the shot is or the maximum point. Make it to about 50, I guess. And then go a little ahead where the other thing is, make it zeroed again. But if you see closely, there's like a problem. It shows like the black, the black bars behind the clip. Or if you have other clips behind it, it shows them. So now what you're going to want to do is in the effects and precepts tab again, right, motion tile. And just drag that onto your thing. And for, let me put these down. For motion tile, the output width, make it 150. And this one, 150. And make it mirror edges. So... What that does is it just mirrors the edges so it looks like it's extended the clip. So that looks pretty good. And just to make it look better, you want to um, put this down. Click on this and click U again. And then for the first clip of this, right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease. For this one too, right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease. And for the slider controls, do the same thing. And what that does is it makes it more smooth. So now, if we easy do, ease those and we watch it back, this is how it looks. Letting it render, do do. See, as you can see, that looks pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't look good right now because it's not under color correction and there's no music. So, I'll add the color correction and music and I'll put it at the beginning of this video. So, if you guys like this tutorial and you guys want more effects on how to do over edit effects, just comment, like, and if, you, if I get over about, let's say, 60 likes on this video i'll upload the next tutorial in a couple of days so yeah so if you guys like this just keep commenting liking i love your feedback guys and thanks for watching peace guys